Hello everybody, welcome here to Barca Times with the Barcelona transfer latest updates I've decided to discuss what is going on between Barca and Manchester City when it comes to Joe Cancelo staying or returning back to Manchester City. Our new coach as a flick have ported on the Brazilian market for a left full back. You hear about that one. We can find a shocking transfer to Porto. It's also here for you to know and this is a minimal other Barca news. You will discuss it in today's video. So now Let's jump straight into today's Barcelona news. We have it right here. And so, Kules, let's begin here with a shocking move of Mikel Fayo to this Portuguese club. And it said here, according to sports, that Barcelona and Porto are negotiating for the sale of Mikel Fayo. You know, the reason why Barca are selling Mikel Fayo is that, you know, Barca need to return to 1v1 rule that will allow us to sign different uh, players into the club. So, I think that is the reason why Barca is sacrificing selling Mikel Fayo to Porto. And this is how it is going to happen. Porto will sign Mikel Faye for 15 million euros. So that is the price Porto will use to sign Mikel Faye from Barcelona. And Barca will include buy option for Barcelona. Yes, there will be buy back option for Barcelona. So in case the future and Barcelona want to buy Mikel Faye and bring it back to Barcelona, Barca have that option to be included in the deal of Barcelona selling Mikel Faye to Porto. Also, the last one is a percentage of any future. See, so Barca will include that one to a percentage of any future sales. So in case different club went to or want to buy Mikel Faye from Porto, Barca will have a percentage in any future sales. So in case uh, Porto was selling in the future for 50 million euros or 60 million euros, Barca will get 30 percent of any future sale that Porto will be making on Mikel Faye. So that is the latest here according to sports. Barcelona and Porto are negotiating for the sale of Mikel Faye in the summer transfer window. So guys, moving on to Cancelo, Barca, Man City situation and according to Modo Deportivo today, they said that Manchester City will allow Barcelona to sign Joe Cancelo on loan, but only if it is included a mandatory 25 million euros pitches cross. So from Modo, Manchester City will now allow Barcelona to sign Joe Cancelo on loan once again. You know, in my, one of my videos, I said that Barcelona want to sign a player on loan and Man City too want to sign a player permanently. But now man city will now allow barcelona to sign your cancelo only if barca said at the end of his loan spare we are going to buy him whether he performed or he did not perform we are going to buy him for 25 million euros the man city right now will allow barcelona to sign your cancelo on loan once again so now it's up to barcelona whether to agree with this or not to agree but as it stands for mundo Man City will allow Barca to sign Cancelo on loan if only Barca include a mandatory purchase option of 25 million euros at the end of his loan spare in Barcelona. So this guy right here is the one I said in the beginning that our new coach Hans Flick have spotted him on the Brazilian market and according to sports they said Hans Flick has asked Barca to reinforce the fullback position and the club have turned its attention to Joao Henrique Mendes. He's a Brazilian fullback from Fluminense U20 and has a price tag of 70 million euros. So, Luis Enrique Mendes, who is a player for Fluminense, is the one our coach really like him. He can play on both fullback positions, so he can play as a left back, also, he can play as a right back. His name is Luis Enrique Mendes, and is a player for Fluminense Football Club, the Brazilian League. So, our coach really like this guy a lot, and I think. It will be very difficult for Barca to sign this guy because of his price that is 70 million euros. Latest update here on Fermin Lopez is that Manchester United have made a, an offer of 30 million euros for the signing of Fermin Lopez, but Barca have rejected this offer from Manchester United all because Barca wants Fermin Lopez to stay in the club for many more years. Barca don't want to sell Fermin Lopez from the club, and that's all for today, guys. Please make sure to subscribe. If you've been the first time watching my video and you want to enjoy more Barca videos and news like this, make sure you subscribe. Also, don't forget to like this video, and I will see you guys soon in my next video. But until we meet again, Vesca Barca, Vesca Catalonia. I thank you guys a lot for all of your support and also for watching this video. Thank you.